Hey guys, Mark Personas here, back with another video. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to make a Fred Again Inspired drop with the new Fred Again Inspired pack, like tracks as these. <laughs> including these elements. So first we're gonna start off with the drums. His drums are kind of breakbeat inspired, so we got his original breakbeat loop. So this will be the foundation of the drums. Now we're gonna cut it up. First we're gonna cut out a the kick. Then we're gonna cut out the heads and these snares. Just like this. So this will be our foundation of the drums. We're gonna keep the kick in the same spot to keep the original vibe of the breakbeat sounding like this. Which sounds quite weird, but we're gonna add some more to it. So Fred Again style is also kind of inspired by the UK Garage wave. So we got this UK Garage loop. And we're gonna cut it up as well. Basically, we're only gonna keep the kick as snare. Basically, we're only gonna keep the kick and head. So now our loop sounds like this. Which is already better, but we're gonna add some more to it. So add some more growth to it. We're gonna add this open head to it. Place it at every offbeat. Just like this. So then we only need to duplicate it to make it in a full loop. So together, all the drums sound like this. So now we're gonna dive into the bass line. As you can hear in tracks as turn off the lights. The bass line is quite moving, there's quite some facing going on. So, I just made this bass preset, sounding like this. Which is just a normal saw and sine wave. Nothing special, but then we're gonna bump up the fine tune all the way. And then we have the movement we need in those kind of tracks. And then I also added some noise to make it a bit more gritty. Sounding like this. So the key is really to fine tune in the bass. So now we're gonna dive into songwriting. So we're gonna work in G minor. Let's start off on G. Then go up to the third note of the scale. And then we're gonna finish off on the D sharp. Sounding like this. So then I added a 4D balance to the mixer channel and automated the volume. Just add some more sidechain to the bass. I drag down the volume when the kick is hitting. So all together the bass and the drums sound like this. So now we're gonna dive into the lead sounds. Let's pick a preset from the pack. We'll be using this sound. So now we're gonna dive into the piano roll. We're gonna start off on the D. The reason we're gonna start off on the D is because it's the third note in the G minor chord, so it fits it fits perfectly together with the Reese bass. Then we're gonna go up to the D sharp, shorten all the notes just a little bit, select half notes to make this small roll. It's really typical in those Fred again tracks to have some really short note fills like this. Then tweak the velocity just a little bit as well. Then go up to the F and add that same roll to it as well. Just like this. Then for the second part we're gonna down we're gonna go down to the A sharp. And get with those short notes. And then bump it up an octave as well. And duplicate that same riff from the end of the first part. But then remove those short notes to Don't have it all over the place. And of course bump it down to the A sharp again. So all together the melody sounds like this. So 
So now we're gonna mix it. So now we're gonna dive into the vocal sampling. Fred again samples like all kind of songs. So we're gonna head over to Spotify. We're gonna find an R&B classics. So head over to the R&B classics playlist. I came across this one. It's at a nice BPM, around 120-ish. So we're gonna sample this part of the song. So I just ripped a cappella from YouTube. And then it's all delay and reverb to it. Something like this. So the original track is in F sharp, so we're gonna pitch it down. Just like this. So then I just cut out a few bits of the track. And this part. Really nice to have this one in the background to fit it up some more. And this ad libs from the intro. So that will be our focus vocal sampling. Altogether, it sounds like this. I can hold it back cause I've been waiting so long. So now we're gonna dive into the chord sounds. So first pick a preset from the pack. Using this pitching saw. Then what I did is copy over the Reese bass notes with a G, A, and D. So I basically inferred the first chords from it, from this to this. Then I inferred the second one from this with one octave up, and this one octave down to this. And I did the same for the third one. So also got the chords sound like this. Then I also added this plug step just for the backgrounds. Just to fit it up some more. Besides that we're gonna automate the mod wheel to open it up during the drop. So those are all the melodic elements. Together they sound like this. So Which is dope, but we're gonna fit it up some more, so let me just drop in a few effects. So I just dropped in these effects. This focal ambience, focus shot, and this tonal loop together sounding like this. Again, to fill up the ambience some more, because Fredagan uses a lot of ambiences in his tracks. So, that's it for the Fredagan style drop. I think we covered all the elements. So, that's it for the video. We're gonna dive into the end result in a minute. Besides that, if you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. I can't hold it back, cause I've been waiting so long.